Hello, I'm Adam from Sony Tactical and today we're going to take a look at the Tasmanian Tiger low profile multi caliber magazine pouch. The Tasmanian Tiger multi caliber magazine pouch is made from 500D Cordura, features their Molly reverse system, Molly on the front, Velcro adjusters for adjusting the allowed size it will open to, reinforced walls, and elasticated retaining straps. So let's take a closer look at the low profile multi caliber magazine pouch. So on the front we've got some cuts to attach a molly pouch. On the back we have our two straps for attaching two molly which you simply to get out you pull the tab down like that, weave it in through the straps and then when it's all weaved through you then push it back up inside and you get a really nice strong hold. Now this means that it's not going to come off your molly at all. On the sides we have the removable velcro straps. Now you can remove these put the magazine in, set it to the right size and close it down on top of the velcro and this will stop the magazine pouch opening too far. Now inside we've got these strong reinforced walls which as you can see there they're nice, they're solid, they have flex to them so they will move with the magazine as it comes in but this does mean that they are good and you're not going to get a whole lot of fabric crunching down on the edges and bits of the mag it might catch on and then stopping your mag from going in your mag will just go in also inside you do have i don't know if you can see this but we do have slightly texturized rubber i suppose you could say ribbing um that crisscross the back and the front which means that you get an extra solid hold when the magazine's in place so let us grab an M4 pouch, or an M4 magazine I should say. So let's take the M4 mag, put it in, yep, there we go, goes in easily, comes out easily, there is definite retention and grip there. I will just say it may look like it's quite hard to get out on camera, but that's because I'm holding it and this isn't attached to a plate carrier. When attached to them, they are a lot stronger and they do come out really nicely, really easily. So it goes in, comes out about much effort, nice, if it's in there, See, not coming out. Uh, let's have a look. What other size magazines we got? We've got an M4 magazine. So, hmm, a bit stiff. We better adjust. So, this is where the Velcro straps come in handy. So, we can just undo them. Then, we take our magazine, we slide it in like so and what will happen is the pouch will then adjust to the size then what you do is just not too tightly just put the velcro straps back over and you're good to go so now we have an m14 pouch so we just pull it out like so then we just put it in there we go now due to how the m14 pouch is not it is a little bit tougher to get out but if you put it upright like that it is easier however it will still go in both ways as we can see and it will still come out. So there you go, we'll take M14 magazine. We've also got our G3 magazine. So let's put that in and see how that does. Uh, it's a bit tight, I think we're gonna have to do a bit more adjustment for that one as well. But this isn't a problem because after all we do have the easy adjustable Velcro. There we go, so we've all set it in. We will Slightly retighten the Velcro so it's still got a bit of movement if it needs it. And then out it comes. Done with the magazine. In it goes. So there you go, there's another pouch or another magazine that it will hold, a G3. Now let's have a look. What are we gonna do next? Let's do our AK mag. So not even a challenge. However, let us do the knobbly end, so with all our locking parts, so we'll put that in. Yeah, that still goes in really easily. But the uh, AK magazine does go in really quite well in this pouch. Does a very good job there. Now our final pouch is gonna be a 7.62 gas blowback rifle magazine. So, I don't know if we're gonna need to adjust this or not, but let us stick it in and see if we will. Ooh. Yeah, I think we're going to want a little bit of adjustment, so let's loosen off the Velcro straps. 
Now this is probably, as you can see on the camera, the thickest magazine, or at least one of the thickest magazines going to do. It's also one of the heaviest. Now, for those of you that know much about all physics and how weight works, this means that this is possibly under power and a bit of speed, the most likely mag to fall out on its own. But we will test to see if it will come out when we turn it upside down. So, here we've adjusted the straps, it will go in, it will come out, and it will go back in. There is a little bit of friction there, but we are starting to work more towards the larger size of what this pouch is designed to handle, so the elastic is getting a bit more strong and resisting us more. However, this isn't bad, because in the end, this is a big old mag, you don't want to lose it, they're expensive. So, will it come out of the pouch? The answer is no. So, yet again, another magazine that this will really easily hold. So overall, these are really awesome pouches. Tasmanian Tiger have done a great job. They are low profile, they're easily adjustable. They will take a large range of magazines, which makes them really unique. It means you don't have to have lots of different magazines for different pouches. You can just adjust and go with your next magazine. Well, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.